Well, hello, 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 everyone. Yeah, I can hear you guys think. Mr. Bradford, sir, why are you dressed to the nines like that? Well, um, it's quite simple, honestly, because, well, July has started, and that's my birth month. My birthday is on the 16th. So, yeah, I decided that for the month of July, I'm just going to dress in this tuxedo, because why not, eh? It's my stream, I can make the rules myself. So, yeah. For that very reason, today I am playing the very first video game I ever played, which I do every single July. Every single July, and I'll also beat it during the month of July. So, which game is that, you might ask? Well, that would be Super Mario Bros. 3! Also, hi Thomas, been a while, hello. Also, yes, it's the NES version, because that's the one I grew up with, so, yeah. You've never played this one, seriously? Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna wait to throw it up there, but oh well. Now I'm just going to let this title screen gag play out for a while. Why not, eh? Well, let's get started. I'm going to play with one... Uh, I'm going to play a one-player game because I'm on my own and there's nobody here except for my imaginary friends and you guys. So, yeah. So, in case you're not uh, sure what a Mario game is, well, you're lying. Everyone knows what a Mario game is. But yeah, basically, in this game you go from level to level and... You have to make it through 8 worlds and defeat those at the end. Basically, lots of platforming, you collect power ups to get stronger, that kind of, that kind of jazz. It's also the game which introduced the Super Leaf, which turns you into Raccoon Mario, so that's fun. And Raccoon Mario can also fly, so that's fun. Right, let me do a little thingy. <laughs> For some reason, you can just get behind objects uh, if you crouch on the white block for long enough. Okay, green mushrooms are one of mushrooms, as usual. Really, this game is where a lot of the Mario traditions really, um, you know, really um, started coming into play. Like, a lot of enemies that are common in the Mario series now, they first appeared in this game. And I'm not talking about Goombas and Piranha Plants, those were in the first game as well. No, I'm talking about stuff like Boos and Dry Bones. This is where they first appeared. Also, I almost forgot something. Anyway, that's the first level done, so, um, wahey! Wahey! Oh, I do hope the sound board is working correctly this time. Main suit. Right, let's continue. Also, the game will introduce slopes, which you can slide down by sitting on them. Yes, it did introduce the Angry Sun, yes. Also, it introduced P-Switches. Did the game just introduce everything? Well, it almost feels like that, yes. Also, fun fact, you can, you can repeat that little bit as many times as you want, because the coins will just respawn. <laughs> it's quite silly. Oh no, the coins don't respawn. But there's a different place in the... in the game where they do. Also, this is the first game where Mario actually did a spin, actually spun in midair when he, while he was jumping with a star, so that's fun. Also, whenever I play this game, I generally tend to go for every single level in the game. So, that's the plan. I probably won't finish it in this stream, though, because the game is pretty long. I mean, levels aren't super long, but, and they don't have any checkpoints, but... 
Yeah, I'll try to get as much done as possible. Okay, so. Coin heaven area. Lots of coins appear here. And be sure to fly up after the third batch of coins because... You'll just be hunting an extra life if you do. Which is nice. This game was also re-released uh, re as part of Super Mario Authors for the... Uh, for the SNES. But I'm playing the, uh, the NES version because that's the one I grew up with. Also, nice. I got myself a few extra lives because I um, I got three stars. But there's, um, there's a card at the end of the levels with, with like a roulette card thingy which you have to hit. And when you get three of the same, uh, of the same uh, thing from it, you will get extra lives. Ah, much fun totos. Ah, could have been better. So as you saw, three stars means you get five extra lives, three fi flowers will get you three, and three mushrooms will get you two. If if the um, if you get anything else, you can just get a single extra life instead. Also, the first auto scroll level because this game also introduced groups, which was a very sad day for the Mario series. Because generally people don't like these because they are impatient and would rather not stand around waiting while playing a Mario game. Which, fair TVH. Also, another extra life here. I've played this game so much I know where a lot of the things are hidden. A lot, not all of them. Coins, because whenever you get 100, you get an extra life. Why oh, one up as the Mario series likes to call those? Yeah, the bo boomerang bros get go to make getting a star difficult, but nice. It's actually a bit of a trick to getting a star, and that's if you run at full speed towards the goal before the roulette spawns in, and you jump uh, jump into it from a 45 degree angle, it tends to always be a star. Anyway, roulette game. This one's a little bit rigged, but if you but again the the thing for the lives and levels counts here as well. Like I said, the timing is a little bit rigged. But I got it in this occasion, and a mushroom gets you two extra lives. A five flower will get you three, and a star will get you five. If you don't get a matching picture, you won't get anything. Anyway, first fortress level. Oh hey! That uh, question block over there called Days of Five Flower returning from the first game. But I don't need it. You can also fly up here, which will get you a warp whistle. But I'd rather just complete the level normally. Also, dry bones is introduced here. Also, starting from this game, whenever you got hit while you had a power up, you wouldn't revert to small Mario. Instead, you would. Would go from power up to big, and then from big to small, and then if you get hit again, you will lose a life. And this game also introduced Boom Boom, who returned a lot in like games like 3D World, 3D Lands, uh, New Super Mario Bros. U, and it's still easy as shit. But yeah, we did it! Hey! Well, let's keep going. Oops. Also, a little known thing, there's another coin heaven here. Except we can't fly now because I lost this, lost my raccoon power up, so... Oh well. I'll just grab the coins that are down here, like a pleb. Oh, I might as well have to cross it, be so slow. I need to get both of the level. Well, a decent chunk of it, yes. Okay, now I'm going to get this, which gives us a fire flower. And, well, I can sp spit fireballs. Which is a power-up that's returned in basically almost every Mario game. And another star. Nice.
Oh, and the Away for the Unspade. Which is a matching game. Okay, notice you can only miss twice, but you can actually only miss once, and the second time you miss, you uh, get boosted out. Basically, for everything you get, you get something. Basically, you get two stars, you get a, a star. Get, uh, you get uh, two one up chests, you get an extra life. Get coins, you get coins. There are several uh, preset patterns and... Well, there are some experts who are actually able to memorize all of those somehow. In fact, I know such a person. Oh, and yeah, also this game introduced this music track, which has returned to several other games, so that's nice. Ah, missed that. Oh well. More coins for me. I'm not going to do the other side because I'm kind of worried I'll fall down if I try. Also, rail lifts have also introduced here. Like I said, a lot was introduced in this game and returned in uh, the Mario series in later games. Okay, let's see if I can get this. Wahey! Wahey! Look at me having 22 extra lives already. Oh, 22 lives, but you know. Also, ambushes, they are a thing now. Let's go get ambushed by Hammer Bro or a different enemy. And uh, defeat them all and you'll get an item. Also, if you hit, if you touch them on the map, you'll automatically enter the ambush level. Also, all these items you get you get to save up. You have like four bars of items uh, to keep in reserve. It's generally a good idea to save up some really good ones. Uh, I can't say I know that game. Sorry. I've seen a bit of it, but it looks too any move for me, so not interested. Anyway, final level of this world, and I haven't lost a single life yet. So yeah. At the end of each of the first seven worlds, there's an airship level. Because yes, those were also introduced in the game. Follow Pokemon Way team up with the demons. Ah, I see. One of my friends is a dragon who has a demon side to himself. Nice guy. Oh, yep. Meanwhile, I recently picked up Baldur's Gate 3 on, during the Steam Summer Sale, so that's nice. Also, the Jackbox party packs I was missing. Oh, and this game also introduced the Cooperlings, and back then they were, for some reason, referred to as Bowser's children instead of. It's minions. They eventually change it to Bowser's, uh, Bowser Jr. being his only offspring. For obvious reasons, probably, because it would have said a lot of more about Mario than... No, a lot more about Bowser than it would have said about, you know... Anyway, first world cleared, and never lost a single life yet. And this game also introduced themes of worlds, because the next one is... Not a grassy world. Anyway, we get a letter from the princess, the world before she was officially named Peach. An ominous loving demon. Interesting. Greetings, if you see any, see any ghosts, be careful. They will give chase if you turn away. I have a ghost shield that helps protect you, and she gives us a P-Wing, which uh, lets you fly indefinitely. It's a good idea to save those for the levels you struggle with. Anyway. Next up we have we have Desert Hills, which actually returned as a racetrack in Mario Kart DS. Also known as Desert Land in some regions. Nice. Okay, let's wait till the tail get out of the way. Oh fuck. That almost went wrong. Come back here. 
and I've even become invincible, damn it. Secret area. Gives us a piece with some coins, and if we go quick enough, we'll be able to get something down here as well. Well, multiple somethings, what you know. Okay, whack this guy. Because fire snakes are annoying, they can jump through platforms. They are a bit of a handful. Like, I'd imagine that, um, you know, to discuss, you know, whether fire snakes are a good, a good enemy or not, we'll probably start a flame war. <laughs> Man, I miss using the soundboard. I kind of can't when I'm playing on the Switch because, you know, my attention is elsewhere. Okay, I think this is the pipe where these coins just keep respawning. If not, then I think this is a patch version of the game. Okay, yeah, look. You can basically farm coins here until you're tired of it. Or until time runs out. Anyway, another star card. Nice. And it's this mini game again. Yeah, line, whatever. Oh, that does not look right. Seems like the fire flower is wearing a hat. <laughs> Okay, next level. It's one of those hill levels again, except now they are orange. Yeah, I know, I'm hilarious. He, he, he. Ah, I missed those coins. Okay, in some of the levels, if you get, um... If you get a certain amount of coins, you'll actually get a, get a little bit of a reward for it. Like, there's a few secrets in the game. There's, um, there's the white toad house, which appears in, like, in these cases, where if you collect enough coins on a level, it'll appear and give you a rare item. Which is a P-Wing in the odd-numbered um, worlds and a, an anchor in the even-numbered worlds. The anchor... Um, Stops an airship from fleeing once you lose uh, a life on those. The other one is a coin airship, which is an airship with lots of coins. And you're also given an item um, at the end, which replaces one of the Hammer Bros items on the map. And unfortunately, I did not get the white toad house. Oh well. Not like I'll need the anchor. Anyway, another uh, fortress level. This one actually uses the desert tile set, that grey colored, and it introduces booze, which used to scare me as a child. Because they chase you down and make creepy faces. Okay, just looking back for a bit, because it can actually follow you to the ground. Also, forms, they were also introduced here. And now just run for it. Oops. Sometimes I forget that there's actually a spiky ceiling up there, because you, but you you can't actually see it. Also, always go along the top here, because, well, I messed up this time, but it's safer than going across, going, than going below the spikes. Trust me. I mean, look at me, look at how I'm dressed, I look very trustworthy. And another fortress cleared. Hey! That gives us another shot at the end, paid mini game. Yeah, flip whatever. Okay, that's twenty coins, not ten coins. Don't get them mixed up. I'm pretty sure I've seen another mushroom around. No, that's a star. Anyway, this also unlocked a toad house. Another one. Okay, I'm going with the right one. Ooh, five flower, not bad. Oh, but now we're all the way on the other side of the map. Well, for that, we'll use the pipes. 
which lets you basically teleport between areas on the map. Which is nifty. Anyway, let's use the mushroom. Oh, look at that. Pyramids are made out of blocks. What is this, a Mario game? <laughs> also, yeah, hitting blocks on the side is a little bit finicky. You get used to it after playing this game long enough. You'll learn to feel the same pain I've been feeling for many years. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh, look at all the extra lives I'm getting. Wonderful. Okay, this is slightly tricky, but hit the shell and jump right out. And then just let uh, magic do its work, I guess. Nice. Anyway... Well, would you look at that, it's another star. Which means three stars, which means five extra lives. And we're at 32 now. I still haven't lost one. Anyway, the Hamburg Bros and Bush Accounters are actually boomerang bros in the world. Except for one secret area in the world. And behold, the most useless item in the entire game, the music box. So what does this do, you might ask? Well, see that hammer over there? If you use it, it'll just fall asleep. That's it. That's all with us. Anyway, next level. And this one introduces the Angry Sun, which appears in a grand total of two levels in the entire game. Also, be sure to run and jump here, because there's a tornado. Whoops. This is when the sun will start attacking, so do take care. It'll basically move in the, in a bit of an arc, and you need to jump over it or it'll hurt. It actually returned, finally returned in Super Mario Maker 2. Okay, so... Next time we v visit the uh, the map, the Hammer Bro will wake up again. Well, Boomerang Bro in this case, because it's this world. So, yeah. Let me use another mushroom. So imagine if a shell hit them and internal wind happened in the desert. Oh, that would be unfortunate. Here, yep. I kinda wanna get the item that's inside of... Well, damn it. Oh wait, no, there's another computer for you. Okay, I'm not sure how I did not get hit there, but I'll take it. And now we fly. Oh, I see, that's annoying. The sound, the sound does not sound like a game I would play, no. Anyway, the, the upper road gives you a lot of coins, so that's nice. <laughs> I love doing this. Now be prepared to get at least one extra life when you're in this level. And if you're smart enough to take the upper road. And more coins for me. I see, well, I'm not really a fan of stories that are too dark either, so... Unless you talk, uh, talk about the story being dark to the point where the lights have a tendency to just, just go out. <laughs> oh right, I've beaten the level. Yay. Okay, let's deal with you. <laughs> I hate it with my tail until we can go into Womp Womp. <laughs> Lol. So I just got the hammer. What does it do? Well, it's, it's not there to get you drunk, that's for sure. No, 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 what a doll is. Boop. 
It lets you break certain rocks. Anyway, this toad house is guaranteed to give you another new power up. The frog suit! Wahey! Wahey! Stop! I'm at time. Yeah, exactly. And you might be thinking, oh, is this another boomerang bro? No, these are a pair of fire bros. I like fire bros. I actually have an OC with a fire bro. Anyway, this gives you a warp whistle, which teleports you to a later world in the game. Not going to use it, so I need to take care to not accidentally use it either. But yeah, there's a few more levels to go in this world. So let's take care of those. Also, chain jumps. Chain jumps were introduced here, and they struck fear into many people. Yes. Do you guys have an item or nah? I would like an item to feel better about myself. Oh, hello! Whoop. Whoop. Okay, I don't think that block has anything of, of the note, but unless you want to be uh, those players that like to skip enjoyable levels. True. I did. I did one successful run where I. Went for like the first two war whistles in um, World 1, and if you use both of them, you'll be able to go straight to World 8. And then I actually beat uh, the game with just uh, like that little stuff. I was quite impressed with myself. And my dad, was, uh, Mr. Bottlenose, was actually watching, so that's nice. There we go, that's all of the coins. The one coin over there wasn't actually a coin, it was a solid block. But for some reason blocks that have an item inside of them are just solid coins. For a while. It actually got fixed in the GBA version of this game. But not in the SNES version. Because that one fixed jack shit. Okay, let's get another run going. And another star, would you look at that. I'm well, only like half an hour in. I think I'm going to be making some good progress today. Also, I heard that noise. Well, would you look at that, we get another shot at the end spade. Uh. Oh, hello. Uh, what was this again? Uh, found uh, Theodore. Oh, um, I literally just started chapter 4, and apparently Twilight Town has a nice bacon industry going. Also, this mushroom has big vampire teeth. But yeah, I, I just beat chapter 3, basically. Got myself a cute little blue colored uh, Yoshi friend, I named him Cecilio, he's really nice. He likes to say dude a lot. Anyway, pyramid level, right. So this one's a bit of a maze. Yeah, that's right. What is? <laughs> what is right? Maybe don't hurt me. Let's leave a few of those coins down there. They'll be able to pick up the rest as coins. Because breaking a brick block only gives you like 10 points or so. Oh, it's Sunday stream. You did? I didn't see you. Also, fun fact whenever I'm streaming, it's actually Saturday for me at that point. Like Saturday evening. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm good. Ooh. There we go, another star. Uh, that'll be because I was lurking. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, would you look at that? We made it through, and we almost made it through another world already.
So Dirt basically says the same thing he says in every single uh, world in the game. I'm starting to think that those are all robots and they are just programmed to say the same thing. It was around, around 3, uh, 3 a.m. Uh, okay, I see. Eep. No. <laughs> uh. Okay, why well, make such weird crying noises? I don't know, but I find it funny. Oh, help, I can't see myself. Oh, now I can. Well, thank Poseidon, I have a fire flower now. Eh, yeah, weren't expecting to see back in the corner, did you? Make sad dolphin noises if you like. I don't have a sad dolphin noise button. Help me, please. Fuck! Oh, uh, we're here. Okay, so now we have to deal with Morton, who basically attacks the same way as Larry does in the first world. And it's probably... and the only difference is really the shape of the arena. And would you look at that! We made it to another world. Hey! Okay, another king uh, changed back to normal. Another toad happy. Also, fun fact in the GBA versus the O oh, Thanks Heaven was replaced with O oh, Splendid Splendid. Probably to get rid of the religious reference. Anyway, you can stomp on your enemies using Goomba's shoe, which is another item that Conte introduced to this game. It's a green shoe which you can sit inside of, and it'll, uh, yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll let you stomp on spiky enemies and, and all that jazz. Anyway, we also got a cloud which lets you skip levels. I'm not going to do that because I'm a man. Anyway, let me show off the frog suit now. So, what the frog suit does is it lets you swim around very quickly. It's really nice. It looks cute as well. Some people think it looks ridiculous, but I think it's cute, so shut up. Otherwise, the swimming controls are basically the same as in any Mario game. But not if you're wearing the frog shoes. Then you can just zoom around the level like this. And it's really fun. Wee. I feel like a dolphin in the water, because I am a dolphin. Oh, I almost got hit there. Okay, but I can't actually run to the goal, so... Uh... Damn it. Oh well. Our streak of getting stars at the end of level had to end sooner or later. Oh, and this game also introduced a rather infamous enemy, and we might lose our first life once we encounter it. But it's not in this level yet, it's in the next one. Okay, let me get the Fire Flower, actually. Because I want to, uh, to make my movement a bit easier. So yeah, jumping cheap cheap, stay are back. After an absence in the second game, which we generally don't really talk about. Yep. Oh, that's fine, I'm still alive. It doesn't really matter what we get now, so... You're just going to get a guaranteed one extra life if you, uh, if you have any difference in the pictures. Okay, I'm pretty sure this one is also guaranteed to give you a frog suit, and if not, then it's the other one. Yeah, there we go. Right, so this level introduces both Bosch, which is a, a terrifying enemy, which... Should it eat you, you'll just lose a life straight away, no matter what kind of power-up you had. Oh, and if you take him out with, um, say, a fireball or an, a Cooper cell, he'll just reappear after a while. Not happening on screen at once, so the game is slowing down a little. Oops.
Ooh, close one. I once tried a run of this game where I tried to beat it without losing a life, and this was the level where I lost a life. Because, you know, of course. But I still haven't. <laughs> so, um, that's good. Hey, another fortress level. This one has many doors. And I learned long ago from Mr. Bottlenose, my dear father, that if you uh, go through the sixth door, you'll get to the bot. So... Yeah, he wrote in the back of a book in the notes section. So yes, people actually did use those back then. Okay, one, two, three. That's half of them. Four, five, six. There's more doors, but this one will lead you straight to the boss. And it's the only way to get to the boss. Also, this is where Boom Boom will start sprouting wings, so take him down quickly, or it's going to be a real headache. And would you say that is absolutely excellent? And that's a sound I remember, that means end spade. Oops, I keep falling for that. And there we go, that's the end space thing you completed. So we'll get a new one next time around. Oh, give starting us off with a five flower this time, huh? Well that's not right at all, that's a mushroom wearing a five flower hat and a bow tie. <laughs> anyway, another ambush encounter. Anything in here? Nope. But we got another hammer, so... I do have a place in mind where I want to use this one, though. So do not suggest anything, because I've already decided. Now I'll save my items for now. Okay, if you time this right, you can actually jump this entire gap. Otherwise, you have to hit an invisible block that's at the, uh, at the right side. There's also a which you're able to hit back there, but I didn't. Give it an extra life. And he's lucky to which first green spiny cells that bounce around and roll around, and they are really aggressive. Love if Emma is he an architect. Um. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> Although I do like playing The Sims, so uh, if that counts, then uh, cure. Anyway, I believe. Excellent. I so, yeah, the bridge is uh, open and close every time you you uh, play a level. Also, here are Delectros, which are an enemy that only appear in this game and never returns. Touch them and they'll hurt. And here's a big buffer, which looks like boss bars, but actually just carries a little fish around in its mouth. It can't actually eat you, from what I recall. Also, yeah, you can just leave the water at any time while going to the top. If only temporarily, but yeah. Oh, which a look at this, another actual life. Oh, yep. Also, yeah, sometimes the, the music, like the notes in the music tracks just drop out, because you gotta remember, this is an LP game. It had to work with whatever the NES was able to work with. And despite that, it was incredibly ambitious. Ah, damn it. I could have had that, but unfortunately I didn't. Anyway, about the hammer. Yeah, this is where we're going to use it. But that's just use it as a raft. Or kayak or whatever it is. I 
Well, it's a boat, that's the important part. Yeah, that's the important part, it's a boat, you use it to cross water. Which gives us, like, which gives us two toad houses and two spades places, thingies, these mini games, whatever you want to call them. Oh, that just looks done. Well, it's a good thing we got enough for a tent. Ah, uh, damn it. That's just the same thing we got earlier. <laughs> right, anyway, another two those. I'll pick this one. Five flower, not bad. So, remember when I said there were two toad houses? What if I told you there's another one? There's another one right here. Uh, just a mushroom. Which is, which I'd say is still better than getting a star. Because stars are incredibly situational. Let's, let's continue. I not much to say about this level, I, uh, I don't find this level particularly interesting. Okay, there's another white break block which you can use to throw at stuff. Really nice. I do like breaking things with objects I'm given in a level. Don't think too much about that. Ah, boo. I didn't think this was going to be where we lost, uh, where we lose our first life, but oh well. Let's give this another shot. Ah, boo. Okay, so items are a bit weird in this game. If you hit the left side of a question block, it'll move to the right, and if you hit the right side of a question block, it'll move to the left. But it's something I learned very late. So yes, even I still learn a lot about this game, I don't know yet. I should probably go for the- Oh look, the bush glitch and turned into a half brick block. Interesting. I won't question his life choices. If he wants to be a brick block, then sure thing. Why not, eh? What Who am I to stop it? Okay, let's not do the thing I did earlier. Well, yeah, those donut lifts, you don't want to stand on those for too long or they will fall. And only death awaits you in those pits, as you just saw earlier. Okay, next level. Now, this one introduced fishy bo uh, excuse me, it introduced Spike. Which is a cute little thing, enemy cute creature that spits out spiky balls. They look adorable, but they are kind of dangerous. They're probably best known for being the the enemy which Fishy Boopkins from SMG4 was based on. Anyway, this is level dealt with. Another mushroom, but at least we have two consecutive ones, so if we get another one, we'll get uh, two extra lives for our troubles. Okay, let's actually use one of those stars. It'll make dealing with this way easier. Okay, maybe if we're lucky there's an item inside, because depending on where the hammer pro ambush happens, you actually get an item from one of these. But not on this location, unfortunately. And we got another star for it, so... Um, 
We didn't gain or lose anything from that. Right, fortress level. This is the point in the game where we start getting two fortress levels per world. Which isn't the case for every single world from here on out, but... Yeah. Like there's one upcoming world which has three fortress levels. And then the world 8 actually is just a single one, not counting the, uh, the final level. And there's also stretch boos, which make their first appearance in this game and would not return until Super Mario Maker 2. And they didn't even get a unique white stretch bars in that, they just moved along the terrain. Anyway, boom boom. This is where he starts getting uh, obstacles in his arena, but at this point those aren't that bad yet. He's still a complete pushover who can be defeated in less than 10 seconds. And would you look at that, we got another shot at the end space. Nice. Oh, I'm doing good. Oh, okay, what is this? Oops. Yeah, that was the one I was actually going for, but... Well, I got very lucky there. I usually don't really rem remember those patterns. Well, what about this one? Am I going to do good on this one? Ah, almost. Fun fact, if you get two matching ones in that minigame on the GBA version, you actually start hearing a drum roll in the background. Okay, let's use a mushroom. Remember Boss Bass? Yeah, he's back already. Unfortunately. Ah, uh, boo, I hoped I could knock him out, but no. Okay, that's all. I don't like that thing. I'm just going to hang up here where it's safe. He can't reach me here. And yes, that's the entire purpose of that very vine. Which I'd say is vine with me. Get out of here, please. Thank you. I'm going alongside the top route because I don't like taking the bottom route because I feel safe here, basically. Now, of course, I get a star when I don't need it. Thanks, game. I really appreciate it. Oh well, next level. I don't know why, but for some reason I just have a tendency to teabag in uh, this game. Also, bar bombs appear here, which is not actually their first appearance, because they first appeared in Super Mario Bros. 2. And anyway, I jump on them and they'll eventually explode. The explosion hurts, so do not touch the explosion. I know this sounds a bit crazy to believe, but yeah. Strangely enough, fireballs do not do anything to them. True game, I don't like uh, you uh, pulling that kind of shit right now. <laughs> so, fun fact if you swim all the way to the left, you can get another frog suit. Not going for that this time around, because I'd rather keep my fire flower. Anyway, go to this pipe and. Yeah, you'll reach the goal. Yeah, that's a star. Excellent. Oh, we're almost at the end of World 3. And we're almost an hour in. Man, we've made good progress in just an hour. Also, if you look at the shape of these here islands, it's shaped like Japan. Which is nice. Anyway, the king has been turned into a kappa in this world. In World 2 he was turned into a spider and he was turned into a... Um, 
into a dog in the first one, which I'd say is a bit of an improvement because dogs are adorable. I'm still trying to uh, look into getting a pet seal. Anyway, airship. And this one's blue. Oh, yeah, and rock wrenches is also introduced in the game, as well as the cannonballs. I'll take the Super League because that's just a better item than a Fire Flower, objectively. And I'll rather take the Top Right because it's safer than going through the entire cost of fuck of cannons. There's also these crew platforms where if you jump on them, they'll move forward a little bit. It's really finicky and generally does not move, sl move fast enough to uh, work with the auto crawl. I think you can also go alongside the top, but I'd rather go this way. And we do not touch those wrenches, they hurt. Anyway, we made it. Now we have to deal with Wendy, who shoots these weird energy rings. Although they look kind of like life rings in this game, to be honest. Well, they may be life rings, but clearly the one who is not alive at the moment is a Wendy. <laughs> Right, so now we go to World 4, which might just be one of my favorites, and it's a pretty easy world for this late in the game. And is it just me, or does this king look a lot like Mario, face-wise? Look, that's just Mario in a king's robe and a crown. And with a tan, because he's been in the sun for too long. Or something. Greetings, the white block contains magic powers that will enable you to defeat your enemies. The how dr as how, for how dramatic that sounds, he's just talking about those white brick blocks. Anyway, World 4, which is a giant land. Also, I'll just get rid of this because it's useless. It might not look too impressive right now, but like I said, this is giant land. So if you go into the first level, everything is big. Which is just great, to be honest. I mean, the coins aren't, and the items aren't, but, you know. Okay, give me the Super Leaf. I feel comfortable when I have a Super Leaf. You can't actually break these giant brick blocks with, um, with the Super Leaf, so don't try it. You need to actually use a uh, Gargantua Koopa shell. Oops, I messed that up completely. Alright, let's go up here real quick, because there's a few pipes. Eep. Oh wait, no, I have to start from the other one. Oopsie! Wait, wait, what? What am I missing? You're supposed to be able to enter one of those two pipes. Oh, never mind, there's a third pipe which I completely forgot about. Which does it into a small. Oops. Which does it into a small water section, which is nice. Oh, that's not so nice, though. Maybe coming down here wasn't exactly a good idea. We gained almost nothing from that. Um, safe ground? Yeah, safe ground. Oh. So those giant piranha plants have a really odd name in this game. They are apparently called Piranicus Giganticus. Which is, sounds just like a, the, your typical hilarious fake scientific name. So that's fun. I made another star, so... War hey, basically. Right, next level. Yep, 
Can you give me the super leaf? Thank you. Here's another one of those levels where if you uh, collect enough coins, you uh, get a reward for it. I'm not sure how many you need exactly, but yeah. Oh, yep. I lost my uh, I lost my super leaf, which is the same because I want to check something up here. In the GBA version, where you fly up here, you actually find a piece which which leaves a trail of coins. I'm not sure if that's the case in this game, but oh well. I mean, in the original. Anyway, another star, so five extra lives for me, and look at that, we passed the 50 lives mark. I love to see it. And spade. Yeah, flip, whatever. Uh. Oh, what were those? Oh, nice. Beer. We're kind of running out of space for items as well, which is annoying. Because now we're at the point of the game where the really good items start to fill up. And I'm not talking about these stupid mushrooms. Get out of here. Okay, next level. This one introduces a particularly annoying enemy. Sledge Bros. They jump, and if they l if they land while you're on the ground, the shock wave will actually stun you for a while. So be careful. Anyway, this level it features a lot of tricky jumps, and it's quite annoying. I would, although generally, I've gotten much better at this game, so. For me, it's no biggie. Plus, I'm pretty much used to the, the, to the physics of these old, of this old particular old game, so... It's not the same as Super Mario Bros. 1, which has very... unadjustable jump. That being said, I still mess this up, so... Okay, give me a mushroom. I feel better with a mushroom. Because of these bastards. And like I said, this game does not have any checkpoints, so um you can lose a life, it's back to the beginning of the level with you. Although to come safe that the levels are also shorter than um, compared to other Mario games. Well generally anyway, there's a few really long ones. There we go, I just have to jump on the paratrooper to get across. Okay, now we basically just have to race the one of mushroom to this location to, so we can pick it up. Or not, because I'm bad at the game apparently. Okay, do not bump into these blocks, they'll push you off the platform. Okay, oh good, we made it. Another star because I'm awesome. And I'm the star of this show, so it fits. Right. Quarters. And then what introduces hot foots, as well as sideways moving thumps. Hot foots were kind of like boots, but they walk towards you when you're not looking at them. There's also a pipe you can do go down here, but it's a longer way around, but it has some extra goodies. In particular, an item. Which is always going to be a mushroom if you don't have an item yet. And then there's this little climb you have to make. Okay, I'm actually not sure if that's a sh if that's longer or shorter, but the second fortress definitely has an alternate route which is longer than a normal route. When I say second fortress, I mean the second one in this world. And there we go. Did this one as well. Okay, I'm going to get star for this though. Because fuck Sledge Bros and fuck everything it stands for. Let's just make them easier to deal with because that's, make, that's better for everyone. Oh, and sometimes they'll just ambush you like that where you don't even have a say in the matter. And then we get another of those Lavi to Cloud, which are completely and utterly useless. So let's just get rid of it. 
And then I'd like to use my frog suit for this level. We'll get a spade thing in a bit, don't worry. You need a frog suit to go down this pipe. I'll well, go up this pipe, but you know. And this one gives you all the coins in the world. Okay, so I missed one coin, but whatever. What can you do, eh? Okay, you can only get in there with your frog suit, otherwise it's not possible to enter it. Also, if you want to swim as fast as this, you just have to hold A. Don't button mash. I also realized that pretty late, but oh well. But now the world lamp is pretty much useless again. Beer. It is quite possible to time it, you just need to have pretty good timing. Look, I promised you I'd do the spade thing, so I'm going to do the spade thing. Balls. Oh, and I would have gotten that too if the top one was a star. Okay, I'll pick this one. And it's another mushroom. But it's completely random which item is in which, so... Although some of them have set items, regardless of which one you pick. Let's get rid of another star. And get rid of you. Let's get another B-Wing, which is nice. Another level, okay, I'm going to get rid of this suit now, thank you. Give me that super leaf, please. I feel like I'm going to need it here. Because this level actually introduces another uh, another item if you can find it. Also, bullseye bills. They were introduced here. Though they didn't quite trail after you, they instead just turned around. Like I said, a lot of things that are commonplace in Mario now are introduced in this game. Okay, let me jump off of you, and climb up here. Okay, this is the item block I want. The giant question block is a Tanuki suit, which temporarily lets us turn into a statue. Which makes you invincible until it runs out. Or if you cancel it. Also, fun fact, as you might notice, the, the game seems to act like there's more behind this wall. That's because, for some reason, there's an exit, like a level exit hidden behind the wall, which is goes completely unused in this game. Like I said, the Nuki suit good. For the reason, that's also what you get with the, where you get the Super Leaf in Super Mario 3D Land and 3D Worlds, which is strange. Well, what can you do, eh? It's pretty much the most powerful fire-up in this game. And there's one more we haven't seen yet. But we might still see it if we're lucky. Okay, why is it always whenever I try to go for a star I get a mushroom? I don't have mushroom for that in my diet. <laughs> right, one more level in this world. This is not a long world. Also, yeah, the, the statue just uh, just uh, knocks just about everything out. Okay, so this one is interesting. Before tiny huge islands in Super Mario 64 existed, there was this door that changes the size of the enemies. Okay, at this point I want to start avoiding question blocks because I want to fight a nuke suit. Because it's good. Okay, then door will just turn the enemies giant again. I don't want that. Not today. Like, sometimes I'm in the mood for giant enemies, but not today. 
Okay, let's get you out of the way. I'm not making the same mistake I made back then. There we go. Oh, we look at that, another entry plate. Now, I'm not sure, but I think this particular toad house is guaranteed to give you another Tanuki suit. No, it's not this one, but there is one in this world that does. Eh. And there we go. Right, second fortress of this uh, world. I could also just call them castles because that's basically what they are. Fortresses are just smaller castles when you think about it. Okay, this is a bit of an annoying jump. But you should be fine if you get the running start. Okay, the, it does not kill dry bones apparently. Interesting. Okay, if you if you don't hit this break block, you won't activate the B switch, and you'll be able to take a shortcut straight to the boss. Also, I haven't talked about these spinning things yet. They are roto discs. After this game, they only reappear in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. And there we go, boom boom is a pushover, yada yada yada. Oh, would you look at that, eh? We're almost at the end of World 4 already, which means we're pretty much halfway there. Although we're not exactly living on a prayer. And would you look at that, the king is now a lizard. You're a lizard, Harry. I'm a what? <laughs> And this is an airship with particularly slow auto scrolls, so um Wahey. Wahey! Also the coins don't have animation, it has to do with certain objects in um, not having animation but still being registered as animated objects. Airships are weirdly programmed. Well a lot of things are in this game. Like if you were to place um uh, some of these objects and levels with animated objects, they would, like, have a glitchy animation. I know this because I've used the ROM hacking tool for this game before. Like a level editor and such. It's quite fun. Faster, faster. Oh, you're here, hello. Get out of here. But while we're suffering through the, through the slow auto scroll of this level, I do have a few plans. Next week, on Saturday, I'm going to be playing a four man game of Mario Party Superstars with a few friends of mine. So, look forward to that. I'm going, only going to do play Mario Defense Year Door once a week for, for the, uh, this month, but the rest of the month I'm planning some interesting things. Just to celebrate my birth month, because my birthday is on the 16th. Ah, fuck. I lost my Tanuki suit, now I'm sad. Wah. Wah. Anyway, question block. Oh, for a second I thought nothing came out of it because it didn't hear a noise. And here we have Iggy, who has a tendency to just jump around aggressively. He also wears big glasses. I also wear glasses, but mine aren't anywhere near as big. Anyway, that's what for. Whee! And this king is just showing his nips, and his talking animation is his legs moving. Why? Uh? Okay, so what does Peach have to say this time around? 
The thief was told that a whistle has escaped to the east side of the sand dunes. Yeah, we already took care of that one. But you get it that late in the game. Okay, so now we've rolled five, which is called the sky in certain versions, but it's called Skyland in other versions. But we start at all land, so um, yeah. How confusing. There's actually an exit to this level where you just get an item, but it's a bit tricky to reach without a P-Wing, so I'm not going for that. I'm just going to do this one the normal way, because I'm a man. Interestingly, in the Japanese version, the ending is actually um, a pipe transition to the to the um, usual black background area. But here it's just in the same area. Yeah, for some reason there were a few level differences in the Japanese version. Okay, so this level is interesting. This one has two routes. There's a top, there's a pipe at the top over there, which is a route, which gets you a lot of extra lives if you go down a certain other pipe. And there's a way down there, which leads to a pretty tricky cave. Ah, uh, balls. And this one takes us above ground. Although it's still underground in the SNES and GBA versions. Okay, so 5-0, oh, that's nice. And then we have this big question block. Which contains three extra lives. How nifty. Hey, that for me, will you? Well, that didn't accomplish much. Just a few coins. Okay, let's get the running start and hope we get another star. I am amazing. Wahey! Now this dude house, pretty sure this is the one that gives you a guaranteed Tanuki suit. And there it is. Although we're almost out of item space, which is annoying. Okay, let's take care of this, for, of this castle first. Or fortress or whatever you want to call it. I always used to call them a castle back in the day, so maybe I'll just stick with that. Okay, you might need to fly up there. Well, speak of the devil. But I'm not going to go for that, I'm just going this way. Well, there's clearly more to this level. Which I don't think I've ever gone through. I mean, the, the alternate route. I've clearly beaten this level uh, once before. Okay, now this will just hurry along a little because a form will crush you if you keep standing there. And that's not really nice. Unsurprisingly. Anyway, boom boom is a pushover, yeah, we know. It's really quite silly when you think about it. Also, look, this has created a little bit of a bridge across the water for us. So if you ever run out of lives, as if that will ever happen, we'll just be able to skip uh, like straight to the uh, bigger island. Uh, it's a mush mushroom with vampire team again. Right, end speed. Oh well. At this point I'm considering seriously throwing the um, end spades anyway, because I'm filling up with items way too quickly. Get out of there. And here's the Goomba shoe which Peach told us about in World 3. For some reason. Not sure why there, but oh well. And that's your bounce on enemies like spinies. 
And this is the only level in the game in which they actually show up. Oh, and also knocks out bar bombs instantly. And let you walk on top of bunches. <laughs> Interestingly, bunches are apparently not really enemies, they're considered blocked in the game. Similar to the pipes and the ground and the terrain and such. But yeah, it just looks funny to see Mario's head peeking out of it. Ah, oh, I lost it. Oh well, not having it makes it easier to get a star at the end anyway. Okay, let's clear out some items. The stars, of course. No item in there, oh well. Here it is, I'm out of here. I saved a star just for you. I'm pretty sure this one gives us a P-Wing. Yes, it does. Now I have so many pairings, this, ba this would basically just give me enough to clear World 8. If I had a second Warp Whistle, which I don't. Anyway, there's this tower here, which will take us to the other side of World 5, which is actually the sky. It's a pretty simple level, which is bas it's basically a castle level, which keeps going upwards. And the pipe at the end connected to, um, yeah, to the other half of the world map. <laughs> Which isn't really half of it because the majority is up there. Also, if you have a P-Wing, you can go uh, across the, uh, the top of those blocks and you can actually find some hidden points. Don't do it with just a super leaf, you will fall because there's a big hole there and no floor. Now we have a bit of a dark room with some light bulbs, which don't do anything. And once again we're outside. And we've broken a bit of the, of the tower down. Ha ha ha. Yay for vandalism. And there we go, we've made it to the clouds. Right, so he's the rest of World 5. <laughs> yeah, this level, uh, not much to say about it. Most of it can be skipped by going across the top. In fact, I think, yeah, we actually reached the end of it. I was also lucky to that, showing the usual red spiny axe. I still have plenty of items. Uh, I still have no, not plenty of item space, I have a lot of items I can still use. Which is good, because the latter half of this world kind of sucks. And guess what? It's another Tanuki suit! Which I'd rather have over the Super Leaf, because you can fly away with it anyway. I do not want that. Okay, good, I remembered I could do that. No, I don't want that. I don't want your basic bitch Super Leaves right now. And another star. The same we won't actually stop on 69 lives, that would have been nice. <laughs> and I think this gives us yet another Tanuki suit. <laughs> I like this suit, it really brings out Mario's chubby belly. 
No, it wasn't this one, but I have got someone from this toad house in particular before. Line up the... Line up the what? That's eh, just a mushroom with a mustache. <laughs> Okay, next level. This is also the only level in the game to feature para beetles, and this level is a right pain in the ass. You got these para beetles, they are one block wide platforms that move. And yeah, that's it. You have to navigate across their back, and it's kind of, kind of annoying, really. I'm also afraid to use a tail swipe because that generally has a tendency to knock them out. Which you don't want while you're standing on top of them. That's probably a uh, piece which I could have gotten here, but yeah. Also, flame jumps. They are also here and they are pretty much the bane of my existence. Another lucky, another lucky two, I don't have to deal with you because the exit's right there. Nice. Okay, so was this the one? No, it's a mushroom. Like I said, there's not much room for those in my diet. <laughs> Alright, next level. Now you can go down the pipe, but it's a bit of an annoying area to navigate them, from my uh, recollection. So we'll just finish the level. Ah well, this is the first time I've actually got a fire flower from this. Unfortunate, but oh well. And that's the end space again, I'm just going to ignore it. Okay, fine. Beer. I completely forgot where everything was. This is an interesting photo level. It doesn't really fail in this version of the game, but there's actually lava on the ceiling. It won't actually hurt you, because it's more of a background object, but fireballs come out of it. Not fireballs, they're really called lava bubble. Oh, about those. <laughs> I killed it. I killed the, the lava bubble. That's why you have flying while you're, do, while you're doing a spin jump actually makes you spin in the air. Which is fun. Hey, don't touch that. I want to keep the... Damn it! Oh well. Fine, we'll just go without it and make you so... Excuse me. Anyway, is that taken care of? I really wish I could have kept Tanuki's here, but oh well. I'll take my, uh, my uh, anger out on you guys. Because I don't like dealing with two Hammer Bros at once. I like Hammer Bros, they look cool. But, yeah, they are a right pain in the ass. Also, what you look at that is another useless music box. Out with you. Come on, give it to me. No, that's just a very fancy fire flower. Oh, did it end already? Huh. I guess it just ends right away if there's no, uh, no uh, Hammer Bros left on the map. Okay, this is not the level I was thinking of. This one's just a level for Lucky 2, but the next level is not fun. At all. 
Oh dear. No biggie, we're at the end of the level anyway. But yeah, I do not like the next level. It's really annoying. So let's see what we can use. I think I just got a fire flower. It's probably more useful to have a super leaf, but I kinda don't want to waste them and like on levels where I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose them. But yeah, this is a diagonally scrolling level. Diagonal auto scroll, now I've seen everything. And there's these lifts to move up and down and left and right. They are solid, by the way. I completely forgot about that. And that's not the worst of it. No, the worst of it is the fact that there is also flame jump later in the level. And you have to be sure you don't scroll off the screen with those blasted platforms because then you'll just lose a life. Definitely the contender for a worst level in this game, to be honest. There's like several other difficult levels I'd rather play over this one. There. I'd rather not try jumping on the flame jump and avoiding those fireballs is hell. Yeah. Okay, good, I made it. And it only took me two attempts. Good, and we made it to the airship. Okay, so... <clears throat> this airship level. Do not lose a life on it. I know that's a lot of pressure, but do not lose a life on it. If you do, it might scroll up the screen in such a way it will just disappear from the map completely, and you will actually get softlocked. Also, the king is a bird. No worry, in case we do lose a life, I actually can prepare for that. Maybe not the most legit thing to do, but... Yeah. Basically, don't take any unnecessary risks, just stay alive. Oh, I thought that the cannon wasn't going to fire, apparently it did. Oh well. Oh, uh, now I'm small, that's not good. Oh dear, I actually did load a lot. Yeah, thankfully it moved to a place where it is not going to disappear, so that's good. Yeah, I'll use, just use a mushroom, why not? But yeah, that's what happens when you lose a life on an airship, it'll start moving around the map. And this version of the game, although it was fixed in later re-releases, yeah, the airship can just disappear from the map if it scores off screen. Because then it gets stuck between the two maps, the land map and the sky map. It's a bit of a downside to this world being split into two halves, which aren't actually halves because the, the second bit is definitely longer. But yeah. But if you can, just try to go, the, take a, go along the side of the top. Anyway, time to deal with Roy Cooper. He stomps on the ground and creates shockwaves that will stun you. Not too much of a biggie for me, but I will. And that's World 5 taken care of. Three worlds to go, but I don't think we're going to make that. 
I'll finish those off screen probably. By the way, this king's beard talks for some reason. And his mouth moves a little bit. Okay, so what does Peach have to say this time around? Be careful in the ice world. The trapped creatures in the ice will come to life if warned. Yeah, there's a few. Uh, there's one level, like exactly one level, which has. Um, let's get rid of this again. Uh, which has frozen munches in it. So yeah. No, oh, I remember this music track. I heard it in a thousand years or whenever X called. Anyways, I. Iceland, it's very slippery. It also introduced chewies. And it has a pretty trippy background which I generally don't really like to look at. It makes me a bit dizzy. It didn't always do, but when I was a kid it uh, didn't make me that dizzy. But I'm not a kid anymore, I'm actually getting old. I'm turning 29 this year. Ah, boo, not a star. Oh well. Oh look, it's the end spade. Yeah, line, whatever. Okay, I almost got that. Wahey! Wahey! Two extra lives, that's still better than not getting anything. Alright, next level, and it's another blasted auto scroll level. I'd rather play any kind of level except those. But, I mean, except for those, but. It's still better than some levels this game throws at you. And these are these what you can actually jump through. These clouds, I mean. Unlike the wooden moving platforms from that one level in World 5. Okay, this is actually hurting my eyes a bit. Not sure why they decided the background had to be one gigantic reflective ice block, but whatever. I don't make the rules. As the auto score only makes the levels feel longer even when they aren't. You just have to go through a small space at a slower speed. They are not exactly popular. And for good reason. Anyway, that's this level over and done with. Okay, I do not have the patience for you, so I'm just going to use a star on you. I refuse to deal with two hammer bros at once, it's really annoying. <laughs> that looks another hammer. Third house. Okay, so what are we getting from this one? It's just the mushrooms. It's on the level. <laughs> oh, hello, you're going to give me extra points. It does not matter much, but oh well, I like getting extra points, I guess. Dolphin likes when number go up. Oh, more coins. Don't mind if I do.
Oh damn it, I kinda just want to land on that, but... Well, that's my hubris, I guess that's what I get for trying to style on my enemies. Okay, now I actually do want to get a Koopa Trooper. Never mind, now, I, now the entire point of me getting that is gone. Oh well, now I guess all I just have to do is without any protection. It's not fun to do things without protection. It's scary. Yeah, I'll just jump over you guys this time. See, that worked out way better. Alright, it's a castle. This is also probably one of the most iconic castle themes in the in the series. Also, which you look at that, I went completely wrong. But this, this kind of shit is why I take mushrooms with me. <laughs> I hate eating them in real life, but they are good in Mario. Also, I have no clue how anyone's a good uh, supposed to grab that super leaf, but oh well. Now be a little bit careful. You have to avoid those road discs, but oh, oops. But move around too much, and that you'll draw the attention of the hot foot. I'll just let that one come to me. Yep. Also, look at this. Ah, oh, now I can run across bikes and shit. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, just got a humor king boo. No, not king boo. Just got a humor boom boom again for a moment because he thinks he can beat me. And that's enough for, for another castle done. Oh, and this world actually has three castles, so go um, nuts, I guess. They're actually pretty annoying. I'm not sure what to make of that. <laughs> oh, I thought there was going to be an item in that. Well, I guess not. Oh well. Ah, screw that coin, screw that nonsense. I'm just going to take the. Uh, going to go for the exit. Ah, I do not like flame jumps, they are annoying. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, the end's Peterburg. Fine, I guess I can go for it now. Yeah, flip, whatever. Kind of, uh, I kind of started to stop remembering the, uh, the dose, so uh, I'll memorize them. Whatever you humans say. Anything in these? Because sometimes there is. You saw it in the first of the ambushes. And look, I just lost a star for another star. Okay, I'm gonna go to Carbon Mushroom because, because yes. Also, this was the level I was thinking of. We actually have a bit of a puzzle level going on here. I'm going to need a super leaf to solve the puzzle. And try not to lose it or you have to go get it again.
Blech. What? Back we go. So, here's the deal. If you want to beat this level, what you're going to have to do... ...is take out this Cooper Trooper. And fly up somewhere in this level. Right up here, actually. And that's it. That's all we have to do. But it took me forever to figure that out as a kid. In fact, I never actually figured it out as a kid. I was much older when I did. Anyway, that's that level taken care of, so why don't we go on to the next? After checking out this mushroom house. Or, well, turret house, or whatever you want to call it. And I think we're going to get a new power-up here, the last new power-up in the game, even. And there it is, it's the hammer suit. It lets you throw hammers at an arc, and it's even able to, to take care of the final boss in a single hit or something. At least I thought it was a single hit, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so the road, no, the road here is split in two. If you want to make progress, you're going to have to take the lower road. And this level throws a lot of stuff at you. It's no wonder the previous level was optional. And this one, because you get to either... Pick an easy level that has a bit of a puzzle, or pick a hard level that is pretty straightforward. Because as the levels do get harder. And obviously part of it is because a lot of them are slippery. Because it's the, the ice world. Oops. Oh, and I didn't even get a mushroom because it went the other way. Excellent. So many cheap cheeps. Seem to be a bit green under the gill. <laughs> okay, it's good to remember that piranha plants won't actually come out of pipes if you're standing right next to them. I'm not sure how I survived that, survived that just now, but I'll take it. Okay, be careful that spike, and... Yeah, it's a beat level. I don't even care what I get at this point. I have 80 lives. I'm just that good at this game. It's another hammer, bro. So we'll get another star and take care of it. It's also the last hammer, bro, encounter in the game. Well, last ambush anyway. Because actually, we can actually get something different in World 7. So, yeah. Also, now's the time to start using this hammer, because there won't be anything else to use until and it'll just sit around wasting a space. And also get rid of this cloud, because we won't need it. Oh. Okay then. Okay, so here, interestingly, we have. Wait, no, it's not this level yet. Huh. Strange, for some reason I thought it was this level. No, it is just another watch for level. Sorry. But the next level after the fortress is an interesting one. So it's recommended you get many coins in this level, because this one is one of those where you have a chance of encountering a white mushroom house. They become blue mushroom houses in the GBA version. Maybe even the um, 
Ja, Essen hier ist Hörchen. Was für die Essen hier ist Hörchen? Ein Yes ist Wild, damit. It's really interesting you can defeat flame chumps with fireballs. Then again, who am I to judge? We could literally defeat, um, you know. We could literally defeat those pesky, annoying fire snakes with fireballs. No, not with fireballs. With a, with a tail swipe. And a super leaf. Which violates all senses of logic, but oh well. Also, you have coins frozen in the ice, you can melt them to pick them up. Nice. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, that's in case you get stuck behind uh, those coins. Because of course they had to add a way out. Okay, there was still not enough coins for the, the White Toad House, but oh well. Right, another castle, and this one doubles as an ice level. Whoa, hey. Yeah, that was a really sarcastic war, hey, and not even go to play the voice live. Because this one is kind of sucks. I wouldn't take the worst level in the game. Because that's still um, 5-9. But it's still a pretty annoying one. Let's keep in mind your momentum really changes on the ice. Also look, Boom Boom actually has a bit of a thrown of his own. Just be a bit more careful here because this time the floor is slippery so that makes this fight a little bit harder. Emphasis on a little bit because it's still Boom Boom and it's still easy as cake. Or easy as pie as you humans would say. Or whatever you are, there's like a platter person here. And a wolf. Okay, so this level is interesting. It's a normal grassy level in uh, in the ice world. It's also a pretty easy level for this late in the game. Come on, I just want to yell to knock those out. And now I'm going to fly across the sky. E he. He. Ow. I hate you guys sometimes. Oh, B switch. Nice. But it didn't seem to do anything. Oh well. Okay, fine. We'll do the end space. You think to say this time, Toad? Good. Also, why does Toad look so angry and aggressive in these minigame places? Like, seriously. His sprite looks so angry. Okay, and here we have another water level. I actually might have been able to judge from the map, but this one still uses the underground tile set. And it also has a route that goes above water for quite a big section of it. Oh, oops, I should have just run across it, honestly. Yeah, blue and nannies and the babies. Real annoying. Oh, yeah, give me the P switch, please. Thank you. For some reason, P switches turn and uh, munches into coins. So I was munching on some gold now. It's me. I am. Not too bad. We already dealt with it. Okay, take this 10, because this is the level that's the highest numbered level at 10. Other worlds to go up, up to 
Well, nine at most. In fact, world's eight only goes up to two. Also, the return of um, the typical ice level setting. And lots of coins. And this is the only level that has those frozen munches which Peach was talking about. I'm pretty sure you can actually uh, pull those out and turn them into coins with the P-switch and you can go this, down this pipe. But I'm not entirely sure, I've never actually been down there. See, there's things about this game which even I don't know. And I've been playing this game my whole life. Like, there's one game where I've mastered, is this one. Okay, third fortress of this world. And this one introduces conveyor belts. Watch your step. Be careful dealing with a stretch boo because they are they are a nuisance. Fuck. Oh boy, this is not going well. Yeah. Okay, well just a bit to drop down, okay. And now the force taking us upwards. The door, and guess who we're dealing with? Yes, it's Boom Boom. Why am I hyping it up? Oh wow, Boom Boom actually defeated me. How embarrassing. <laughs> okay, let's actually bring an item this time. And I already lost it. I am such a genius. Well, I had a fire flower precisely just for some protection anyway, so... Yeah, that form is a bit tricky to get past without getting hit. Honestly, getting through this level without getting hit is a, is a bit of a chore in and of itself. Now, just lure those boost to the other side of the room and you will be able to slip right past. There we go, I was simply not fast enough. Well, we're almost at the end of the longest world in the game. Because here it is, it's the airship level. And look at that, the king's been turned into a seal. I can't wait to get my own pet seal, I'm jealous. Look, it's blue again, although it's deeper blue compared to Wendy's. Wendy's airship, not the restaurant. Because apparently the restaurant exists in some countries. Not on Aquarius though. And uh, which look at that, I'm... I'm so good in this game. And the airship has gone far away. Okay, I'm actually going to get the super leaf for this one. Otherwise, they're just going to sit around being wasteful. <clears throat> okay, this time around, I'm not going to deal with the screw platform because screw that nonsense. <laughs> no pun intended, shame on you. And this is why you bring the super leaf. the ship. Well, down it goes, actually. I know I'm not going up. 
<laughs> okay, now we're at the end of the level already. Now we're dealing with Lemmy, who likes balls. Lots and lots of balls. Huh? I mean, so do I, you know, but... Uh? Okay, shut up. Anyway, that's this airship take care of. So yeah, by process of elimination, we're dealing with Ludwig on the next world's airship. Fun fact, Princess Peach actually doesn't get kidnapped in this game until you beat World 7. Oh, World 7 is actually next. Oh, that's an interesting talking animation. His mustache actually shrinks and grows. <clears throat> Greetings, I am well. Please retrieve the magic whistle hidden in the darkness at the end of the third world. Which actually means this is the third level of world one. Because if you go use one of those white blocks, you can actually slip behind the uh, black background and find the hidden toad house, which gives you a warp whistle. There's three warp whistles in the entirety of the game, but you only really need two if you want to do a manage skip. Anyway, world, world seven is known as Pride Maze. Or pipelines in some areas. Or some revisions of this game, actually. Because the, you can only miss twice with the uh, end spade minigame, was actually, actually originally said miss twice and you're out with your misspelled. It said your instead of your. I think we can get one more level in for calling this. Hmm. Hey, there we go, mushroom. It's kind of a shame, really. I have to end this when we're so close to the end of the game already. If you want to see me see me continue this, then let me know. I know there's some people lurking in the chat that aren't actively talking. If you want me to finish this game, let me know. Then I might plan a la uh, plan for a later stream. Anyway, that's that, 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 that's that level taken care of. The level to get pretty tricky and they feature lots and lots of pipes. Also look and speed. In fact, end space don't actually show up in World 8, so um, we're almost done with seeing those. And then it's down to whatever we brought into World 8. So there's a few more items you'll get there. Including three guaranteed super leaves, so that's nice. Okay, we got time for one more level. That, that's too big a jump to uh, to be able to really make. So what you're gonna do now is you build a bridge of nose blocks and you jump across them. But first you have to go down. Because there's a second layer to this level. Because of course there is. Out of my way, please. Again, if you want to see me finish this game on stream uh, later on, let me know. Okay, no, I don't think there's an item in here. This is just the exit. Uh, mushroom, oh well. Anyway, you know what?
I think you fellas get the point. Unless you decide you want to see me finish this game later on. But yeah, I'm at the stream ending time right now, so this is where I'm going to end things for now. So yeah, this was Super Mario Bros. 3, still one of the best Mario games ever made, even if it was one of the eldest, and still one of my favorite games to come back to. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed watching me go through this game, which I'm really good at. I mean, I'm seriously good at this. You've seen it. Yeah. So, this Saturday I am continuing Paper Mario The Fantasy And next week, on Wednesday, I'll do the Just Dance again. Well, probably anyway. And then next week, on Saturday, I'll be playing Mario Party Superstars with Vanga, Neos and someone else. So hopefully you are excited for that. Now get out of my house and I'll see you all next time!